Hi there. Just a little demonstration testing out um, a lighting pad that I picked up. Um, it's made by IKEA. Originally, just had the one tube in it. I added the other one so you get equal light across the screen. Anyway, I thought I'd use it to sort of backlight various items, particularly lamps. So let's see how good it is. Here we have a carbon filament lamp, an American job. That's not too bad. You can sort of highlight things by putting it more to the light. It's the actual coil of the filament, carbon pinch. The shape of, of the bulb itself. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. It is American and it could well be made by a company called Nalgo Nalco North American Lamp Company who specialized in carbon filament lamps they normally did quite good well made lamps anyhow I'm going to turn this off now because although you've seen what it looks like being lit up it does have a reverse effect of not being able to see other things like the cap so we'll show the cap in more detail unfortunately either in the post or the previous owner it got knocked and it that has sort of been knocked to one side a great pity it still works but I'm leaving it I'm not going to try and push it back these lamps which were heat lamps often had that type of base they had the normal screw but with that added skirt I call of course a skirt also the par press lamps use this type as well um, you know the fact there's a, like a gap in there means the heat is reduced to the holder itself these are not recommended to be screwed into the normal American uh, paper type sockets as it would probably burn them go into a nice ceramic holder not even a plastic holder because that would melt so that's the the idea of that now, as I said there was there's no name on it whatsoever it is a self-supported filament carbon loops And it is well made, really well made. Beautiful shape. These occasionally appear on eBay at different prices. Um, don't know when they were actually made up to. I'll not say recent, but probably 50s, 60s. And they were often found in a reflector heat lamps. The way the filament joins onto the lead-in wires is by a blob of carbon. So, as I say, a nice well-made lamp made, I believe, by Nalco, North American Lamp Company. This would be 110, 120 volts. The wattage, I'm not even going to guess. I'm not even going to guess. They're definitely 120, 120 volts, being the standard American voltage used over there. Anyhow, any questions, please ask. Any comments, good or bad, please make. And I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you.